And welcome back to Scourge Hive. Yes, I'm recording all of these in a single day because, well, it's just easier this way. Oh, blue blobby things, go away. Go away. Yep, I need to turn on this. We can get over there. I don't need to turn on the other one because the middle platform has a ladder. But I do need to lure all the spiders away from the middle platform. Otherwise, I will be knocked off before I finish jumping up. Just like that. Here we go. Boss fight, kind of. Notice how those guys die really quickly? Yep, leveling up gives you damage. Which is fortunate. Yep, turn on that. Turn on that. These platforms turn on. Mitch Mitch, you go up here. So... Yep. You have to time it a little better than that. But I missed the jump the first time. Didn't give me enough time to hit the other one. And now, we have the disruptor gun. I probably should have gotten this before getting the other key, but, you know, well, whatever. It's a little late now. Yes, same little tutorial. It does the same thing as the other one. Except it does it to energy web energy beings now. It's a little bit worse because oh yeah, this this this. It's a little bit worse because of this right here. There are a million biological enemies in this game. This makes all of them nastier. So you never ever ever want to shoot a biological enemy with it. Yeah, we'll go through this place first. No. Oh, I do need to turn on this. Which will get me back there. We're going to fight the uh, flying goo bo blobs again. So, you know, you can all hate me for having to do it, but it's better to do it now and not have to run all the way back here is to do all the other things in the other side of the level and having to come back. I think. And we'll hit the save point when we get there. I don't know why it cutscenes for this. Oh, that's why. It's teaching you that the disruptor weapon turns on those circuits. Yep. Another one of those you can't pass this door without this gun things. Yep, disruptor. Thankfully, they give you a lot of health when they die. Yeah, I'm gonna try and fight them while turning on these things. Because that is the fastest way to go. Yep. Notice how they just kind of disappear really quickly now? Yeah, that doesn't make the fighting any easier. Because if they appear while you're climbing, then you're a sitting duck and they just knock you right off. So you have to run around and make them show up. Yep, still didn't kill him. Now he comes back. Still, oh, no, got that one. And got that one, finally. See, now before you would have said, oh, that's an annoying fight. And when you saw them the first time, that's an annoying fight. Waiting for the steam. Passing through. Yeah, you just kind of have to wait, like waiting in the line at the DMV. Except you're waiting for steam. Yep, they will blow themselves up on nothing if you jump over them right as they blow up. You know, it's a nice way to 
be able to kill them without having to go through. Yep, and here's the guys that I never even tried fighting before because they're annoying. Now we can fight them and actually get health back. Because you can kill them in two shots. Yep. This puzzle, pretty easy, in fact. Because you don't even need to really kill these creatures at the bottom. You just... Mm, fine. I will kill the creatures at the bottom. Because they're knocking me off. Yep, these are just pallet swaps of the other monsters you fought before. And the reason we're killing these ones down here is because they can fly. So they will just fly up to whatever height we're jumping at and screw us up then. Jump. Come on. I know you can do this. Come on. I can't climb onto that ledge for some reason. Hmm. Why can I not climb onto the ledge? Hmm. This is getting dangerous. No. There we go. Okay, we've got the key. Whew. That was close. And now we get through the next door. And hopefully a save point, because we are about to die from infection. Hey, you get to see what happens when you die from infection. Well, maybe you will. Huh. Scary. They put save points all over the place. There's got to be one, like, right here. Yep, if we go through... Wow. We are really going to have to book to make this next one so we don't die. Yep, sick bay is over here. It's gonna try to go to the new sick bay, but that one would might maybe get us killed. So I'm going to go through the old sick bay. And yes, weird trick. It'll despawn the enemies that were uh, attacking me. Notice how they're gone. Yep, and our health is just dropping kind of quick. If you have to fight enemies while your health is dropping this quick, it's even worse. So, there we go. You know what? I got like two minutes left. I can probably run to the other save point. So, uh, yeah. If you're watching, you can feel free to just skip to the next video right now if you really want to. Because, you know, this is just me running to another save point. Do, 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 do. Let's do that door. We can find out now. Oh, no. We have to blow up that first. Yep, see, the door field goes down. So now we can go through. This is what allows you to go through that next area. Basically, press it once, the water goes down, goes up. Press it twice, the water goes... Yeah. It just toggles the water level. And you'll see. The water! Look at the water. This is a pit we couldn't go through before. Woo. So, save point is actually over here. Yeah, if I was thinking, we could have made it there the first time. But... And this would be the end of this Let's Play Scourge Hive. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed.